London Marathon 2022. Back after a two-year absence, the leading pack is now well on its way to finishing in central London with times of not much over two hours. Peabody Square. It is a significant part of the larger Blackfriars estate, one of the Peabody Trust's biggest. The estate was originally opened all the way back in 1871. It was built on a site previously occupied by the Magdalen Hospital for the reception of penitent prostitutes. The estate was the Trust's sixth and such a success that three more blocks were soon added to the original 16. In total, 384 homes were provided, as well as access for residents to a private garden. Entry to the square itself is through this arch. The individual blocks look down onto the square, in which is a popular and well-used children's play area. Being located so close to central London, the estate is a well-favoured place to live, though some of the original restrictions apparently remain. Canonbury House This exclusive private North London residence dates from 1795. It comes with a sizable rear garden and is reckoned to be one of the most expensive properties in the area. Railway Fields Nature Reserve It is hidden away just off the busy green lanes. Set alongside a London overground route, up until the 1950s this space was being used as a railway goods yard. In the 1980s, Haringey Council acquired the land and in 1986 turned it into a wildlife haven. The reserve is open in the daytime on weekdays and is accessible to all. Coal from the railway yard days can reputedly still be found and there are actual railway tracks even now embedded into the ground. There is a small visitor centre and exhibition site where much interesting information is always available to view. There are several picnic tables, free to use, even for those ignorant of flora and fauna. A stroll around the reserve is a refreshing counterpoint to the nearby urban nest. Woodstock Court This elegant listed Kennington building is in use as sheltered housing. Its construction was completed in 1914. At that time it was specifically for pensioners of the Duchy of Cornwall, and it went by the name of the Old Tenants Hostel. Then it had a shop on each of its four corners. These are now incorporated into the rest of the complex. Woodstock Court has 30 separate self-contained flats. These allow residents to lead relatively independent lives. The individual apartments are all arranged around an attractive communal open space. Access to this is through the gated main entrance. The building achieved listed status in 1981. Though the interior is not open to the public, the exterior is easily visible. Preserved building frontage. Face on. This Caroline Street building is unremarkable, but a side viewing of the property gives a better understanding. The new luxury flats being built behind will enjoy a period facade. 